Hey, it's Hatman again. Today we're going to talk about um, escape vehicle choices and I'm joined today by my friend Chintana. Um, Irene, my sister's met Chintana. I don't think anyone else has. Here's Chintana. He's a programmer. He's crazy like me. Yep. That's, uh, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> okay. So we'll get right into it. So vehicle choices. The choices basically are tents, um, inside a vehicle, um, a traditional big solid caravan, um, the hybrid camper market, which is quite complex, and the vehicle mounted campers. So they're, they're your basic choices. Um, when it comes to tents, there's a big common. We actually have a big common. Um, uh, we've got a family of six when they were young and we had no money. It was great. You, you, I think this one of these big things cost you three, three hundred dollars, something like that. And you go to a campground, you stay there for a week. It's big, it's comfortable. Um, yeah, it, it's it's okay. Um, it's not nothing flash, but it, it does the job. Um, in Western Australia, they tend to use these things called swags. And when they're forward driving, they do something like this, where um, they'll put out the awning, put the swags underneath the awning uh, on top of a stretcher. It's very comfortable and stays uh, absolutely dry. Getting in and out is easy on the stretcher. That's a normal thing. Um, my wife doesn't like this idea because she doesn't feel safe. Doesn't matter. That doesn't matter if you are safe. It's a matter of feeling safe, and she doesn't feel safe. So, uh, so this this are uh, might just uh, the standard uh, stuff that you put in the back of your car. Like it doesn't come with a tray with wheels. Or no, 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 no. No, no, um, um, it just falls in and gets in. Okay. So normally the swag, you you have the mattress and pillow inside it. You roll it all up in 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 one one go. The, the 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 stretcher folds down. You unfold that. You unfold your swag. You only need to put the ropes down if it's if it's it's if it's windy. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That that's it. Pe and another another yeah. thing will be like swag is probably a single person. Think of it as uh, the the other one, the big one is like you know, yeah. Yeah, you, you can get two people's swags, but I think the single ones are better. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the tents out inside the vehicle. So inside the vehicle, your two choices basically are a four-wheel drive inside the vehicle or a normal van inside the vehicle. Um, because um, we want to do four driving, we need to do four driving inside the vehicle. The really um, the iconic one is the Land Cruiser True Drip Carrier. Um, there's, they're the ones that are big enough to do this well because you've got this big cavernous space in the back and you can walk through the front. Um, that's the good news. The bad news is brand new, they're $70,000 plus. And when you spend the 70000 and get them, they're still bare bones. They've got crappy wheels, crappy seats. You've spent the money on, 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 on the Troopy and you'll have to spend, I'm guessing, probably another up to $30,000 to get it to, to, up to speed. I reckon you spend a hundred thousand getting this thing right, and that's just a ridiculous amount of money. Um, a lot of people do it do it cheap. Um, they get an old one. Old ones still keep their value well. Um, you'll still pay thirty five thousand for something with, you know, three hundred thousand k's on it. You know, it's a. So that's the troop carrier, or is yeah. that the van? That's uh, the troop carrier. That's, yeah. that's, yeah. that's that's the, all the pictures there are from um, a troop troop carriers, I, I believe. And you know, this that, that's that's a standard set out for. You know, a lot, of, a lot of people, they sort of, big companies, they sort of hire these things out. Yep. And they, they have this standard to set up, you see. And bottom left corner is a guy called a Andrew Sapir White. Has a has a, a full, full drive overlanding uh, channel here in Western Australia. And he's built quite a few of these things. And they're, they're quite expensive. They're, they're great, fantastic. It's, it's a good solution. It's just rather expensive. Okay, so unfortunately that one's out, even though it's a great solution. Solid caravans. You got your, your your fifth wheel. You can get big caravans out of that. You have your modern um, what they call um, uh, toy carriers. So you'll put the back door down and you'll drive in your your two um, trail bikes or a four driver a a ATV or something. And you sleep in the forward section and you tow it around and you have fun. So did you say toy as T O Y? Yes, toy T O Y toy. toy. Toy, a, a toy carrier, and you got the fancy uh, push-out stuff. They, I don't know if it's, um, I imagine it's not hydraulic. I imagine it'd be electric. It pushes out, and you get these big lounge areas. All these solutions are just too big and heavy for me and expensive. Um, even if I could afford it, I haven't got the space. 